Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we're back with another exciting episode of Silent Hunter 5. Just a reminder, I only play this game on weekends. So, yes, it's Friday. Well, I count that as a weekend. Uh, where we last left off, we finished off our first mission off the eastern coast of the United States and took a brief visit to San Juan, Puerto Rico. You can see it's a beautiful sunny day, and in fact, there's a San Juan just behind us. Leaving this, uh, I would imagine, allied port, considering it's uh, red. So allied on the side of the war, not allied to us. Couldn't have picked a more awkward way to put that. Anyway, uh, with no missions in sight, there's a couple of things I want to take care of in this episode. Uh, first off, we're going to try and figure out how to resupply out here. Now, um, thank you all for your wonderful comments uh, suggesting solutions to this problem. There was uh, a link to a forum post with two circles roughly in this area here um, showing that those might be the locations to get resupply. So we're going to give that a try. Now, we don't necessarily need a resupply. Uh, we got a full load of torpedoes and we got a half tank of fuel, I do believe. We do. So it's not getting crazy yet. We can still make it to Morocco if we need to. Um, but sooner than later, I'd like to check that out. And in fact, what we might do is just hit a couple of birds with one stone here. Uh, a lot of you guys want to see a port raid. I can understand why. They're exciting things to do. Um, they're dangerous things to do, especially at this stage of the game. With dive bombing B-17s, and I don't care what any of you say, all right? Those B-17s were dive bombing. They may not have dropped bombs, but they were maneuvering in a way that I had no idea B-17s could actually maneuver. And, um, yeah, I consider it dive bombing. So you might not agree with me, and you know what? That's okay. You don't need to agree with everything I say, but just know that in my head, they were dive bombing. So uh, that is a concern on any port raid we go into is all the aircraft that will come along and attack us. So I haven't practiced an American port raid yet, but I'm thinking perhaps the best place to do one just to, just to you know, brush off the dust. Because it's been a long time since we've seen an enemy port. San Juan, Puerto Rico not counting. Um... So I would imagine Bermuda here, well, there's really only one way in, and it looks fairly shallow, would probably be less defended than, say, New York or Boston or even Norfolk, which I do want to go to, because that is, like, the prime American shipyard. But my god, we'll get hit repeatedly by annoying aircraft. So, we can do a port raid, we can do long-distance... Uh, resupply, presumably in the same hit. And one other thing I had a request to check out was, uh, can you hit the maximum depth? It got dark quickly. This storm is definitely moving in. Um, I could go and quote-unquote find out what the maximum depth is. Let's see. Depth on the keel is 311 meters, Captain. We got 300 meters to play with, but I can tell you, I already kind of know if we hit control, Right? We can see we've got selectable depth here, so we can go 50 meters if we wanted to. We hit times 5, and we can see that around 100 meters, we're still in the green. Between 100 and 150, we're in yellow, so I would imagine that's kind of like a weight limit on an elevator. Not exactly gonna kill us, but it's time to take caution, and then anything below 150 is in red. And I'm of the opinion that red is probably pretty dangerous, and we don't really want to go into the red. So, there you go. Maximum depth, 150 meters. Which is pretty freaking deep, especially by 1940 standards. So, that's good to know. In fact, a little historical tidbit. Don't remember where I learned this, so it might be BS, but... Uh, at the start of the war, the British were dropping depth charges at a certain depth, thinking, well, this is definitely the lowest they, that U-boats can go, and it turned out... Um, they were severely miscalculating, and, uh, you know, German U-boats could easily slink away because they could go deeper than the depth charges would go. So, there you go. Little fact. If it's wrong, feel free to correct me, but uh, 
you know, I'm going to stand by it for now. So yes, uh, let's head on up to Bermuda, check out if we can get a resupply, see what's going on in the Bermuda port, and let's see if we can't find some aliens or ghost ships or things of that nature. Let's go ahead and get our route set up. It doesn't look like there's any sort of, um, oh, what's the word? Airfield. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, we're going to go here. Uh, there's probably going to be defensive patrols going around, I would imagine. And um, then we can get a depth reading to see just how low this is going to go. I imagine it's going to get pretty freaking shallow, especially in here. I don't know how deep the Bermuda port is, but we will find out. Oh, look, the sun's coming out again. The weather just doesn't quite know what to do with itself. At least that's realistic in the game. <laughs> All right, well, we're almost six minutes into the intro and I've made a bad weather joke, so I think it's time for me to stop recording, hit that time acceleration, and get into something exciting to show you guys. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, well, after an uneventful voyage to Bermuda, We've arrived, and it is very shallow here already, so I'm getting a bit nervous about this. We've got 45% fuel, which should be okay, and we've got no visual contacts of any enemy, but we can definitely see land, so that's kind of exciting. Let's try and push this as far as we can on the surface, because I don't know... I'll let the crew finish there informing me of the courses that I've set. Um, I don't know how defended. I'm aware we're in shallow waters, my friend. Sixteen meters. Whew. This may not be the best port to do this in. We do not have a lot of room here. Um... And we can see it's just going to get shallower as we continue. So, yeah, I'm really thinking this might not be the best port to do this kind of adventuring in. But we've got no defense, so we might just be able to roll in and take a look. Oh, crap. Okay. <clears throat> 20 meters. meters, Captain. Where is this guy? What is he? Considering the size, I don't think he's a destroyer. We have a task force inside bearing oh, three crap, seven. okay. Well, how fast are these guys going? 16 knots, 17 knots. They should see us, and I'm half expecting... Uh shells to start hitting us. Alright. Let's get out of the map view and just... Whoo! Okay. Yeah. We're really close to the, to, the, uh, to the bottom here. Let's see if we got their attention. I'm going to suggest that we didn't. But, I might be calling this raid off. This, this is making me a bit nervous. I don't like hunting in shallow waters like this. We could go over here and at least hit some depth. Let's get on back up to the... Get on up there. See if we can't lure these guys out. It's kind of my plan. So, staying where it's deep... Yeah, at like 156 meters. And if we can coax these guys out... Then this could be alright. 16 meters. Hmm. I don't know about this, guys. I may have bit off more than I can chew here. We can see the land, though, so that's something. Um, I don't necessarily want to cut across like this, because I doubt we'll be able to figure that out. Okay, you know what? I'm calling this raid off. We're going to hit the deep. 
And then we're going to head out just around here and at least see if we can find ourselves uh, the location for resupply because we could probably use some fuel. Hopefully it doesn't need to see torpedoes missing to trigger the resupply. If it does, we're a bit screwed. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys when I get there and hopefully we can get a resupply. See you in a bit. Alright, so we're, you know, far enough away from Bermuda that this should be safe enough to uh, get a resupply. Let's go talk to our radio man and see if he can help us out. All right, Wolfram. Captain, they've denied our resupply. Of course they have. All right, well, let's pick up speed. Oh, speed and try the location that I've got finalized here and see if that'll work. Good. Yo, Wolfram. That sucks. Why is your morale so low? I mean, I guess you're still grieving over your brother. That might be it. What about you, Benno? How are you doing? You're not doing much better. I'm kind of concerned about the morale on my ship here. Uh, let's check. Crew morale. It says it's 100 out of 100. I don't know. Let's, let's go talk to our chef. You wanna try some of this too, How about a special meal, Wolfie? No, you're not Wolfie, are you? No, you're Olaf. My dear. Anything new on the menu? Cutfish for crap off the coast of Florida. But since that's not part of our mission, we're stuck with stew. You want to try some of this stew, Captain? Uh, you don't happen to know where Herbert's poetry book is. Well, can't say I do, can't say I don't. But no worries, he will get it back very soon. Good. That book means a lot to him. If it gets lost, I will personally investigate. Understood, Hecaline. Nothing will happen to the book. You Good. You want to try some of this stew, Captain? Make no a special worries, meal. Hecaline. Good. You! Uh, have you found your book? I'm still looking. I uh, have my suspicions, though, but I need proof first. Of course. All right, well, let's go. Let's just have a little conversation with the crew while we're here. Yosef? Should we hail or curse the Japanese for Pearl Harbor? At least we get to fire back at the Americans now. But how much damage can we really do with five boats? I don't think we are prepared for this operation. I mean, I can understand the feelings there, Joseph, but um, we've personally sunk a million tons of shipping, so we can do a lot of damage. What do you think of the rumors of these new radars? If they to be true, then we need to counter their technology with our own. We would need something to detect their radar. Like a radar detector. I'm on to you. What's going on, Eric? Uh, what do you think about our new boat? Obviously compromising agility for range. The alternative would have been to jam pack the old boat. That would have asked great sacrifices of the crew. You don't, you don't think that we're sacrificing a lot already? I mean, conditions on this boat aren't exactly great, my friend. All right, well, that's pretty much all the crew, except, of course, for Dieter. Let's go see if he's got anything new. Getting up onto the deck. Bam. Dieter, my friend. Yes, sir. And looking forward to our little trip to the United States? Of course, Captain. Too bad we can't go on land. I always wanted to see the streets of New York. Who knows? We may get close enough to catch a glimpse. Yes, sir. Still entertaining the crew with your pranks? Of course, Captain. Keeps morale up and the air clean. I mean, at least your morale is pretty high. Well, pretty high. It's just above 50%. Well, Willie kept stinking up the boat. The worst farts you ever smelled. So, when he went to the toilet, we reversed the water pressure and gave him a little, you know, flush. <laughs> Cleaned him out, so to speak. He smells like new now. <laughs> You're an officer of the Krugsmarina. I must ask you to behave accordingly. On the other hand, do what needs to be done to keep your crew happy and the air fresh, I guess. Understood, Captain. Will do. Dot, dot, dot. Yes, sir. Keep up the good work. 
All right, well, with no resupplies, which is a little bit frustrating. Uh, do we not have... Okay, good. We're still... We might try and go back, because I think our sub is damaged. Am I right about that? I am right about that. Okay, and we do have time to kill. I think I'm going to head back to Lorient, repair the boat, and then... Well, no. One thing I do want to do... There was another circle kind of further out about here. So we'll head up there, see if we can resupply. If not, we'll head out to uh, Casablanca or Dakar, one of the two, whichever is closest. And then head on up to Lorient, well, because we'll need to refuel. Then we'll head to Lorient, repair. And I guess head back west. So that's the plan. I'll be back when we get up to this location. To see if we can't get a resupply there. See y'all in a bit. And we've arrived. A new course, Captain? Maybe a search pattern? No. All right. Have good news for me. Uh, they've denied our resupply. Yeah, okay. I feared that would be the case. Okay, well, what's closer? From this point, we've got 5,200 kilometers to Dakar, and we've got 5,700 to Casablanca. Yeah, we got that selected. Good. Let's just make sure we're not going to run around on the Cape Verde, and then head on into Dakar. We'll get a resupply there, head on up to Lorient, repair the boat, and head back west. Unless something happens along the way where, you know, we'll just refuel and then head back west. Which could also happen. We'll find out. See you guys when we get some fuel in our tanks. I figured out where I learned that thing that I talked about earlier. Bam! Look at that! Look at that! So it's true. I mean, I may have embellished a little bit and got the details wrong, but the main gist is true. Uh, anyway, we got back to Lorient. Uh, we went to Dakar, refueled, and then burned about 30% to get from Dakar to Lorient. We have now repaired our boat. We should be sitting at 100%. That's... Shocker, it's one of ours. Okay, um, so yeah... You know, everything's like normal. Uh, come on, get Shut down. down Want to just here. check the morale. See, the crew certainly does like it when we uh, give them some time off. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's just quickly check. Still no missions in America. So we're just going to head out there and, um, you know, do our thing. Give them a little piece piece of our mind. I'd like to go down into the Gulf of Mexico and uh, see if sorry I'm trying to do two things at once never easy um, head down to the Gulf of Mexico see if we can't sink some uh, oil tankers because that would be pretty good and we're free from the harbor. New waypoint, course 75. Mm. Let's... New waypoint, course 69. Head about there. And, um... Yeah, we can probably kick it up to speed three now. And we'll just see if uh, we get any targets to shoot at. I certainly hope we will. And uh, that's really about it. So, yeah. We got Lorient on a beautiful spring day. It is March the 12th. So, you know, time is ticking by. But without any missions, time isn't really a factor. So, hopefully we'll get something new to do by the time we get there. If not, then, um, 
yeah, we'll figure out we'll figure out something. We'll blow something May up this I mission for this episode. I promise. Uh, even if I have to heavily edit all the other things that go on, we'll blow something up. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys in North America. All right. Well, we are on the well, off the coast, east coast, of course, of North America. We got about half a tank of fuel left. While I was sailing across, I did notice a few locations where there were blue U-boats. Each time they popped up on the screen, I attempted to do a resupply. That didn't do anything, but I did notice there was one up here. So the next time we need to resupply, I'm just going to park myself off the, you know, southern coast of Newfoundland. And hopefully we'll be able to get some kind of resupply. Anyway, as you can see, we're awfully close to the port of Norfolk. Why not? We are going to get as close as we possibly can while staying alive, seeing if we can't intercept some American Navy ships or freighters or oil tankers. You know, just something. Something to see. Nothing so far. 48. That still isn't bad. Let's move closer. Twenty-nine. Things are starting to get a little bit concerning. But not concerning enough yet. Let's move in a little closer. Still no sign of any defensive forces. Thirty. All right. Well, if we keep it at around the thirty meter mark, we should be okay. Let's just zoom out. Make sure no more missions have shown up, and they haven't. So we're pushing on into April without any sort of new missions. A little bit of a concern. Every time the game stutters like that, I do like to check because I figure, hey, it's probably stuttering for a reason. Who knows what that reason is? It's not loading missions, so that's good to keep in mind. All stop. We're reaching course end. Depth 25? That's not bad. Meters, Let's New keep going. Point. Course 353. Three. Returning Half to course. It's at least a bit of a foggy day, which is helping us. Escort sighted. Bearing Why? Oh, why did time acceleration not stop there? How deep is this anyway? <laughs> I think it's a very foggy day. Did we take any damage there? We didn't. <laughs> I have a feeling we surprised that destroyer crew about as much as they surprised us. Now, I would really appreciate it, gentlemen, if we could get under... Oh, that is getting shallow. Oh, well, we, we have stopped our engines. And they've stopped. Were they ever moving? Questions we just don't have the answer for. Let's go give our hydrophone a try. Oh, they're definitely moving. I don't know why this isn't showing up as a clickable target. But it isn't. Okay, well... We are under. Let's spin it around. Let's see if we can see anything. Okay. So there's definitely a ship there. We can just make it out. And, like I say, I don't think these guys are moving, so 
Los. Let's see, where is our torpedo? We can hear it. It should be coming in for a strike on this guy here. These American destroyers, they've got quite a lot of guns on them. I'm glad they didn't fire. Um, I'm going to guess that that's a miss. I'm really not sure how it missed. But it did. So that's a bit of a pain. Um, okay, so what we're going to do then is we're just going to turn our boat around. Half speed ahead. Torpedo missed, oh, we are reaching course end. And it does look like we've got the attention of somebody coming in. Did we get it any shallower? That is about it. I mean, I've, I would have figured these guys would have been looking for us. Where's our zero? Straight ahead. Looks clear. Half speed ahead. All right, so we've definitely got a couple of guys coming for us. We can't really see them. Oh, we managed somehow to sneak past one, two, three, four, five destroyers. That ain't bad. I wonder if we can sneak past these guys. They shouldn't be able to pick up our engines. Moving slow, moving away. Bearing three, four, five. Long range. And this fog is so thick we can't see them. That's okay though. I definitely think I'm going to be leaving Norfolk here. But um, we do have some ships. We got a lot of ships up there actually. Wow, that's a lot of destroyers. How's our battery power doing? 90%? 89%? Yeah, that's fine. I wouldn't mind seeing if we can bait some of those guys out. New contact, warship, moving slow, moving away, bearing three. Uh, it looks seven, like there's a couple of sunk ships over there, too. I'm going to guess that is... another or a different u-boat causing that kind of damage but let's go over there and see if we can't investigate i mean i don't imagine we'll see anything out here but yeah not not this shallow how bad is it anyway 10 meters not much That guy right over here certainly looks like he's keeping constant distance. We're going to have to surface the boat, however, because we are running incredibly low on battery power. It's okay, though. We'll recharge. Get to some depth. And see if we can't find ourselves a target. Because that was shocking, but a little bit depressing. Alright, let's check our batteries. 45%, I would like those a lot higher. Uh, so, well, how's our fuel? 52. That's doing fine. Alright, well, with Norfolk being intimidating as all get out, we'll just cruise along here.
And we should have our battery power close to 100%. At least by the time we get up here, it should be. And <laughs> with no folks scaring the crap out of me, I don't think New York's going to be the port to go to. But, and Zero. the reason I don't think New York's going to be the port to go to is because that's going to be a pain to get into. But I'm taking a look at Boston here. And we got some good depth areas right outside of Boston. So let's go investigate. New waypoint. Course 359. Returning to course. Speed ahead. New waypoint. Course and see if we can get close to that. Because if we can, hey, I'm okay going to visit Boston. That's a pretty major American port. We're a bit late for St. Patrick's Day, but whatever. All right, let's kill time acceleration because if sneaking up on Norfolk taught me one thing, it's well, we can get that down. There's no need for that periscope to be out right now. But when it's foggy out, you wind up sneaking up on destroyers that you had no idea you even wanted to sneak up on. And it looks like we're getting close to dusk. So, well, I don't think we'll actually pull up to the harbor and, you know, attempt to dock in Boston. We can get pretty close. And there should be... Some kind of merchant shipping coming out of here. Boston is a fairly major port. What do we got? Okay. Uh, let's see. If you're positioned like that, if we come around like that, that should be pretty good there. Yeah, I'd appreciate a save considering what we're doing. That's definitely an escort ship. Escort sighted bearing one zero three. Yes, I know. And the keel is twenty six meters, Captain. All right. We'll get down to periscope depth. I like it. Escort sighted bearing one zero seven. Okay, so we've got a nice broadside shot on an escort again. Let's aim for about there. We'll make sure these are as freaking shallow as we can. We'll warm up the warheads. And we'll fire a shot. You cannot get much more straight on than this. Considering the depth this torpedo is going at, we shouldn't have any problems following it along. Where are you at, torpedo? Now oh, we got ahead of you. I apologize. You're nowhere near as quick as those steam torpedoes, that's for sure. And this line is looking good, unsurprisingly. The ship is not activating anything, kind of surprisingly. I mean, it's a relatively clear day, and we weren't sneaky when we came up on this guy, so... Hopefully he's just not out of range. We have a task force inside, bearing two, one, nine. Do we? We do! Okay, well that is exciting. Oh, our torpedo's getting close. There it is! Escort sighted, bearing one, one, two. 
And... Explosions! That's a dead destroyer. It looks like it was an older destroyer, unfortunately, but hey. At least now, we've bloodied the nose just a little bit of the United States Navy. Let's spin it around. That is not a ship I shot at. Or is it? No. That is definitely not a ship I shot at. That ship... is on fire, I'm going to assume, because of another U-boat. And now they're coming into the area to, I guess, assist those guys. I don't know how much good that's going to do you. Well, let's go ahead and maneuver ourselves this way. Oh. oh, hello. What have we here? We'll zoom ourselves out. Uh, uh, uh. No, those are just the ships that are on fire. So... Where... Ah! Way over there! Thinking I don't see you guys, huh? How would be a good way to sneak up on these destroyers? Actually, the best way might be to do something like this. And then if we play our cards right... Slow speed ahead. Oh, I see. You're losing interest. I like that. Escort sighted. Airing two, seven, eight. All stop. Come close. Come close. <laughs> Can't believe I'm doing all this maneuvering with my periscope up. It's not exactly stealthy. Torpedo depth set to one meters. Now... Target marked. Looks like we're gonna have to wait on a two-shot. Which will be okay. Escort sighted. Airing two, two, six. Provided we don't continually lose the lock. Which, uh, has been known to happen. Tracking new target. Getting Escort close. Sighted. So now apparently when that thing goes green that's going to be a sh that's going to be a confirmed hit is uh, what someone said in a comment. So, let's put that to the test, shall we? That's green. I'm not colorblind. Is that definitely yellow and that's definitely yellow. So that's green. We loose a torpedo. Yeah, that's um that's incorrect. Shocker. Come on. That is a little bit behind, but we'll try it. And you see, that is looking like a much better shot. So, unfortunately, the warhead wasn't warm, but... I mean, that's still a nice-sized hole in the front of the ship. Oh, come on. Up we get. And there's fire and, you know. Oh, that is a... <laughs> Escort sighted. Bearing two, two, five. This is not really a destroyer, is it? That's... That's much smaller than a destroyer. That looks like it might be a Corvette. Perhaps? I don't really know. Uh, what I do know is it's not going to be with us for much longer. Um, 
Come on. Come on. Give me control. Thank you. And if we wanted to get really wasteful with our torpedoes, and I don't see why not. Because, hey, we've shot off a bunch of torpedoes. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get ourselves a resupply now. But we might as well make sure this guy's going to go down. Because it looks like he's still able to, to live life to the fullest. Oh, come on. So let's just make sure he can't live life to the fullest. Boom. That should end him. In fact, it looks like that second torpedo shot was enough to blow the front of the ship off. So there we have it. And I think we might be close enough. Well, it's kind of foggy and dark. But I'd like to think people in Boston saw that. Maybe not. That is a bit of a ways out. But uh, hey, two destroyers. That ain't half bad. Have we got any missions? We don't. So the last thing, now that we've expended both fuel and torpedoes, is... We'll head about there, then we can rise up, come out to about here, see if we can't pick ourselves up a resupply from a milk cow. That would be pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't recommend you coming down there. I don't blame you for wanting to be uh, a little bit selfish with your life. So we can get out as far as we dare. Should be pretty safe. It's still dark. And yeah, I think we're in the clear. Beautiful! How are we doing fuel and torpedo wise? That fuel's making me nervous. If we can't get a resupply, I don't know if we can make it back. So that's a bit of a concern. I don't I don't I don't like the thought of running out of fuel on the North American coast. So yeah. Let's hope we're able to get back. Or resupply. I'm really hoping we just get a resupply. So, let's kick up speed. There's something in my gut that tells me we might have an encounter on the way over. It certainly is a much busier shipping lane than, you know, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So, who knows what we'll see. And actually... Let's slow this down so I can do this properly while we're on the surface. Let's get our external reserves out. Just because that's always a good thing to do. And we should have them, you know, nicely, safely stowed by now. We do. Good. We've got a total of nine torpedoes left. Uh, four loaded in the tubes, three more in reserve, and then one in the tube in the back and one in reserve. How's my memory? Brilliant. Exact count. I like it. We've left some fire and consternation going on in Boston Harbor. I like that. And as we slowly, slowly, slowly come up to our position here, I'm hoping against hope we'll be able to get a resupply. We need it. <laughs> it's our only option. They didn't need to close the door behind me. What news about Lubeck, Wolfie? Lubeck was bombed. Seventy percent of the city is destroyed. Many have died. Oh no. Yosef's wife was in Lubeck. Try to get as much info as you can. We need to know if she's okay. I, I hack a I'll get on it immediately. And Wolfie, not a word to anyone yet. Yosef doesn't need to know. I understand. 
I'll keep it quiet, Hecaloi. And I'll call you when I know more. You've got nothing more to say. Captain. They've denied our resupply. Okay. Sad days. Sad days. I don't think I should talk to Yosef about his uh, home city being bombed and his wife possibly being dead. He doesn't need to know, and to be quite honest, we need our chief engineer operating at chief, or chief, full efficiency. I imagine news like that would weigh heavily on a person. It would weigh heavily on me, and I'm not even married, so... Yeah. Let's just get ourselves into position. Come along. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping we've moved enough. We're reaching course end. Any news on Yosef's wife? Dear Lord have mercy, poor Yosef. He is not going to be able to handle this. How am I going to tell him? I, I could tell him, Captain. That is, if you wanted to. No, he's my friend. I'll talk to him. Can we get a resupply? Captain, they've denied our resupply. Right. Well, here's the heavier... The heavy duties associated with being a captain, Yosef. I need to talk to you. What's up, Captain? There's no easy way to tell you this, so I'm just going to give it to you straight. Lubuk has suffered a terrible bombing. Much of the city lies in rubble. Your morale is already like nothing. No, no, not Greta. She, she wants to leave the city. She probably had already... Yosef, you know, so I know this is hard, but it's been confirmed. This is all my fault. I told her not to leave the city. I told her she shouldn't go. Yosef, it's not your fault. It's this damn war. There's no way we could have known this would happen. Of course, take as much time as you need. I'll be here for you, old friend. Well! Things have certainly taken a turn for the worse. Our chief engineer has lost his wife in the bombing of Lubbock. We're pretty much stranded off the coast of North America. And the only thing that I can think of is we've still got 36% fuel. I'm hoping that when it drops down to 25%, we get the low fuel light that we'll be able to resupply. If not, I don't know what to do. I guess I could go into the uh, game options and turn off fuel consumption. That might be what I'm going to have to do. Don't want to do that because that'll rest mess up our great difficulty settings of a 69%. And um, it's been treating us well for 50 episodes. So, yeah. As a side note, this is the 50th episode, and I hope all of you have been able to watch this in glorious 1080p. Because, uh, yeah, I'm trying my best to make sure all of our video, all of my videos, get uploaded at that wonderful, glorious high definition. Uh, if it didn't, then either you're watching this right when it released, and you should give it some time. Uh, if not, then something went wrong with the upload process and I had to go back to 720. So if that is the case, I do apologize. I'm going to try and figure out what could be causing that because it happens pretty sporadically. Anyway, that's going to have to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, let me know in the comments. Uh, leave comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Yes, please. Um, 
Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.